Hi, today I'm with uh, Brooke Anderson from Agorana Me Solutions and today we want to talk about cover crops in vineyards and while we put them in, what the results we want to get out of a cover crop and seed bed preparation and a few other questions. So I'm just going to, um, first of all, Brooke, how, how would you identify in a cover crop like what species to plant for what result you want to get out of it? Yeah, okay, Mike. Um, I guess the first most important thing is to work out why we're cover cropping and that is generally going to be different in every vineyard so you might choose species that are going to reduce the weed burden in the vineyard you may choose legumes to improve the nutrient content of the soil or you might be doing the opposite you might need to reduce a vigorous site and put some cereals in to remove some nutrients or you may even have a wet site that you want to draw some moisture out of so it does depend on what you're your aim is in the vineyard and that's going to determine on what species you decide to put in in the beginning. So you need to identify what your situation is or what your problem is. Exactly. Do you need more nutrition? Do you need to yep. be bigger? Or do you want to make it look pretty? So it's yeah, like... and there's always that too. Yeah, yeah. So, um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay. So if we want to get nutrition in to the vineyard, yep. what would we be looking at selecting? Yeah, so I guess the biggest thing is N. I mean, we're always mm -hmm. searching for nitrogen and soil nitrogen that's already there is the best form for the vines. So uh, generally planting leguminous crops, anything, uh, clovers, any aerials, subs, anything like that is going to improve your nitrogen in your soil. And it's going to do it over more than one year. So yeah. yes, you'll get results from this year's clover in the mid rows but I think you're going to see it more in the future so continually doing your cover crops or uh, alternate rows that always works as well yep. to get the nitrogen in um, in general that's the best way to improve your nitrogen anyway. Then you would select other things to go with your legume? Yeah I always like, is do. Is it important just to give a bit a of... A balance yeah, yeah. I, I find single species are prone to insect attack or you know whatever it is so yep. it is generally better to mix it up a little bit put two or three species in legumes and I often will put a, um, a ryegrass or something depending on the aims again just to keep it uh, mixed they tend to work very well together so yeah okay cool good um, you got a site you want to de-vigor yep and, and it's wet as well what sort of things would you be looking at um, so generally, D-Vigor, I go for cereals. Yep. Uh, they're, they're large growing, quick growing, they draw a lot of nutrients. We've got a lot of um, numbers on what we know that hay crops will draw out of the ground. Yep. So we use that for the vineyards to know that that's the best thing we can use to draw potash out, mm -hmm. particularly um, a lot of nitrogen as well. So okay. yeah, if you do have a very vigorous site that we want to slow down a bit, cereals are generally worth putting in again in a mix. Yep. But generally having them as yep. the stand, uh, you know, the main component of it. So wetter sites, say you've got wetter areas of your vineyard. Yep. Is there anything that would work well in that situation? Yep. Again, you need to choose your cereals. Cereals are definitely, yep. again, the most biggest drawers of yep. moisture. But some cereals don't like being wet. So yep. it depends on the soil type, depends on the cereal, and it depends on um, what the issue is. But we yep. have things like triticale. Um, that cope with the moisture a little bit more mm -hmm. and you can also use um, deep rooted species that are going to penetrate the soil and try and open that up. Mm -hmm. We might look at often using that with things like soil ameliorants like gypsum or yep. whatever it is you might else need if it's a clay component or yep. deep ripping yep. or yep. you know if there's other issues in the wet soil but cover crops can definitely help in that situation. Okay probably the next one now would be management of the cover crop. So mm -hmm got the cover crop in, Yep. then the decision is do you mulch it at a certain time or do you let it grow and set seed and yep. then do something with it? Which so. is a very personal thing depending mm -hmm. on the vineyard and I find everyone does something differently and personal taste but yeah th what you just mentioned are the options really mm -hmm. so again looking at the aim of what you're trying to achieve, yep. are you trying to grow the most bulk as possible um, to turn in at the end of the season to get your green manure going on? Are you trying to reduce weeds by um, competition? Yep. Um, do you want to keep it low so that it's not getting uh, pests or anything, organisms jumping from the cover crop into the vines? 
you just got to look at those options when you decide, okay, am I going to slash? Slashing does help during the year because uh, it helps them to grow outwards. So um, bolt, bolt, bolt yeah, it, yeah, instead of just having single plants. Mm -hmm. So mulching does definitely help. Um, oh, sorry, when I say mulching, I mean slashing. Yeah. Whichever way you want to, whichever machine mm -hmm. you want to use. Um, and then you can, yeah, again, let it bulk up, keep it low. D again, depends on what the end of the season result you want to achieve, yep. really, and as then to how you manage it. Organic guys cultivating is, a, is another tool to increase, yep. to get more in out. Is that kind of the end goal of that? At the end, to put the yeah. cover crop back into the mm -hmm. soil is the best way. It's called green manuring. Yep. We turn it all back in. That um, goes into the entire plant matter and all the yep. nutrients inside it will go back into the soil and that is a very good way of, of doing that, yeah, yeah okay. increasing cool. the nutrient load for the following season. Perfect. Uh, next one is the importance of seedbed preparation for when you plant your cover crop. Yeah, so most of our cover crop, apart from the cereals, are very fine seeds. Yep. So we do need, it's very important to get good seed bed prep or mm -hmm. I mean it's a costly exercise you want to spend your money and do it right if you're going to yep. do it so yep. we want to put in um, you know you want to either spray out or cultivate at the beginning to get a clean seed yep. bed and nice and level nice yep. and level yep. where you can yep. you know there's yep. always going to be some wet spots that you put ruts in but in general as, mm -hmm. as level as possible um, and also then cultivating the soil to get a, a finer seed bed or direct drilling with the right machine and the right machine comes down to it as well. Yeah, okay. It's pretty important. Okay, great. Well, sort of sums up a quick quick rundown of cover crops and everything. So uh, give us a call with all your questions about what you want to achieve out of your cover crop and we can look after you with the right seed selection and the right fertiliser selection. Great. Thanks very much. Thanks, Brooke. Thanks, Mike. No worries. Cheers.